Hi, my name is Cormac McMahon and I am a lecturer at TU Dublin. In this short video, I'm going to introduce you to a very useful tool developed by the United Nations called the Sustainability Literacy Test, or SULLY Test for short. I will begin by providing a background to the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. The SDGs provide a strong mandate for requiring our future graduates to be what is termed sustainability literate. In other words, that they should possess the knowledge, skills and mindsets to become deeply committed to building a sustainable future. Well, the Sully test provides a means for us to systematically evaluate if our universities are in fact producing sustainability literate graduates. The idea of sustainable development has evolved over many decades. In the 1987 Brundtland Report of the United Nations Commission on Environment and Development, sustainable development was referred to as development that meets the needs of the present without compromising abilities of future generations to meet their own needs. This definition implies that sustainable development is an intergenerational concept which reflects the limitations of our own planet to replenish the natural resources we consume. Yet, after the announcement of the Millennium Development Goals, it also became evident that a new approach should make more explicit the interrelationship between political, social, economic and environmental factors. This newer definition no longer focused solely on resources and intergenerational responsibility, but also on core socio-political concerns, such as needs, development, democracy, participation, justice, and equity across and within different generations. Since 2015, sustainable development thinking has shifted towards bridging social responsibility, economic viability and ecological sustainability through governance. These are reflected in the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which were formalised in 2015. So I'm going to go to the Sully Test homepage. You can do this by typing in the URL www.sullytest.org. When you get to the homepage, you'll see a largely blue screen with the caption, Building a Sustainable Future Together. So on the homepage, you will see a number of useful drop-down menus. The first is about the Sully test. You'll see a drop down menu about the Sully test tools, including test, quiz, looping, and premium. You'll see a drop down menu on how to use it. And there's a sub menu for both academic institutions and companies. You'll see a drop down menu on how to become part of the Sully test organization. And finally, you'll see a drop down menu on useful news items and reports about the solid test. However, the most important drop down menu is on the top right hand side where you will see the option to either log in or to sign up. So if you have never used a solid test before, then you'll need to sign up as a new user. So click on sign up. Then click on individual and you will see that you will be asked to provide some personal information including an email, a password, your first name, surname, city, country and cell phone number. Finally, it will ask you to accept from general terms and conditions and once you've clicked those, you can then click on the button create my account. So once you have created your account, you will receive a confirmation email. You will then be able to log in. 
When you go back to the home page, click on Login. You will then be asked to enter your email address and password. Once you've entered them, click OK. And that will bring you to a new page called My Account and Sessions. On the session homepage, you will need to enter a session code to start a new Sully test. Uh, this session code will be given to you by your lecturer or examiner in your institution, or alternatively, there may be an available session uh, down at the very bottom of the screen where it says available sessions. If you have an available session there, just click start. If not, uh, type in your session code and click add to my sessions. Uh, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to share uh, some of the questions with you on the Sully test, but just to note that once you've completed the test, it will give you a summary of your results in the four knowledge domains that correspond to the modules in the Sully test. So you'll see here, for example, uh, under knowledge, global and local human constructed systems, it gives you your score in terms of percentage and compares that to the worldwide uh, average percentage. Likewise, it will give you the same, your score for role to play, individual and systemic, systemic change, and compares it to the worldwide uh, score. Same for sustainable humanity and ecosystems, and likewise for transitions towards sustainability. Um, finally, it will give you a diagrammatic summary of your scores in terms of how you're doing uh, versus the overall uh, scores in, in the global system. And that completes an overview of the Solly test. Uh, just to remind you that if you want to try it out, go to www.sollytest.org, uh, register and give it a go.